Get Your Fire Back. Pastor Arlen, today is January the 18th. The scripture I have for you is found in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. It says, For this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you. I believe that God has planted seeds of greatness on the inside of each one of us. And we all have dreams, we all have desires, and things we want to accomplish, things we want changed. But so many times, life has a way of stealing our dreams. In other words, the devil just has a way to try to rob you of what God's put on the inside. But, yeah, we all go through times of disappointment. We all face adversity, and things don't turn out the way we want. But too often, we just end up uh, settling for second best. But God doesn't want you to settle for second best. He says, says, it's time to get your fire back. He says that he wants you uh, to be determined to press on, pursue the greatness that's on the inside of you. And uh, we should never let good enough be good enough. I want to encourage you today to stir up on the inside of you the gift God given you and get your fire back. Start speaking victory over your future and over those desires and dreams that you want to fulfill. If one dream has died, dream another dream. God can bring it to pass. Put yourself in a positive, faith-filled environment. Get around people of excellence who live passionately. Fan the flame that is in you so that you can move forward into all that God has in store for you. I'd like to say a prayer over you today. Father, I pray for everyone under my voice. God, and I thank you that you have a way to heal all of our hurts, our setbacks, our disappointments that we've had, and even our broken dreams. But Father, I ask you to restore us the passion and the vision for the future that you have inside us. Father, that uh, our flame that your Holy Spirit just begins to fan that flame, to burn it up, to get the the the, the flame higher, and, and and than we've ever seen before. And Father, we just thank you and praise you, God, for all that you do for us in Jesus' name. Amen. That's my scripture for you. Second Timothy one six. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you. So be blessed, enjoy your day, and remember to fan your flame.